Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone had an amazing weekend. Me and Thomas had a pretty good weekend. Um, yeah, today I am going to be showing you how I created this eye look and going over my thoughts of the new Alter Ego Goddess Palette. This palette came to me so fast. I ordered it like Thursday or Friday night and I got it today which is Monday and uh, yeah it was it was packed so well and it came in this box here I love this packaging I'm kind of obsessed with this packaging I'm not gonna lie and that is what it looks like I do not have the gold palette um, I, every time I thought about buying the gold palette, I mean, when you have $130 to spend, I can review one product or several products. So I always go with the several because, yeah, that's a lot of money. So when I saw a couple YouTubers I watch doing looks with this palette, I could not resist. I had to have it. I just think it is so, so beautiful and yeah I get a hundred and twenty nine dollar look for uh I think I paid fourteen or sixteen dollars for this sixteen dollars that is a huge difference most people could never even think of affording a hundred and um thirty dollar palette so I, I am excited about the the new palette she's coming out with though it's supposed to be like $65. I may have to give that one a shot. That's a far cry from $130, but I couldn't see spending $130 on a product that I wasn't sure how much I was going to use because they don't have it in my local Sephora. So I would literally have to drive about three hours to a Sephora here in Florida that has it. And um, not about that life. We drive enough for specialists for Thomas. Oh, for those of you that are new here, I do have a special needs child. You'll hear him in the background clapping his hands and making noise. He's jealous of anyone or anything that takes my time from him. Okay, that being said, I do want to do some swatches for you guys. So, I am not good at the swatch game. But here we go. That is the first three. Moving right down the line. I mean, just look at that. And I'm barely rubbing my finger into those, just so you know. Oh, I love these colors. Okay, last four coming up. All right, we're going to just do these kind of up here. Again, I am not good with swatches. I will have to get better at this. But there's always room to improve in everything. So, this is the mm -hmm. colors with my ring light on. And let me just shut it off so that you guys can see what they look like in just the lighting of my windows and my house. Obviously, I don't have the best lighting in my house. But you can get an idea of what they look like. And I just want to say, I don't, like I said, I, I've never seen the gold palette. So my review is going to definitely be one-sided. But, yeah. Um, I had a lot of fun creating this look. So if you want to see how I created this look 
And um, my final thoughts on the palette, then just keep on watching. I hope you will. Okay, so I went in and primed my eyes with my um, MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And we are going to start out by dipping into this shade called Iris with my BH Pro number 5. Tap off the excess because there is quite a bit of kick up in that pan. And holy moly, that's a little darker than what I was expecting, but we're, we're going to go with it. We're already here. So, yes, seems to be blending really nicely. I'm really pleased about how that's blending out. Now I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller blending brush. This is another BH brush, but the number, I want to say it's a number six or a number nine. Not really sure. And I'm going to dip into this Athena shade. It's kind of a mustardy color going on there. And I'm going to start to work this up into my crease as well because I really want to use as many shades as I can and I think this is gonna make this look even uh, more popping. Yeah I like this shade too this is Blending out really nicely as well. Doesn't seem to be patching on me either, which is a good thing. Gonna take this page number seven into Avalon, I believe it is. And I'm gonna use this to really just deepen up this outer corner and I'm going in with a really light hand because I don't want it to come off too dark too fast and then have a situation that I can't turn back from but I want just a little bit of depth out in this corner a little Line that up just slightly. Just so that it it gets a little smokier out on that end there. Now you know I gotta do it. I cannot help it. I have got to start going into some of these greenish, like dark, deep teal colors because Mmm, they're calling my name. If you're real quiet, you can hear. <laughs> Piece of lash glue. And that's weird because Sundays are my no makeup day, and I thought that I got all that off. Clearly, I did not. But that's it, the breaks for today and I'm slowly just barely dabbing the brush in this as well because sometimes with these darker shades you can end up with a mess pretty quickly now I'm just gonna barely with almost no product on the brush just connect it at the top here just a little I like the way that looks and uh, yeah uh. <laughs> I'm having a hard time but that's part of doing makeup and I don't always want to take all that out 
because it doesn't seem real to me when it's all taken out all the time. But anyway, that's kind of the effect I'm going for. I just want to blend now this crease up here just a little, just because it's getting, it's got a little bit of harshness that I didn't really want. So, and when you do a step like this, I don't know if I've ever said it on my channel, but you should always take and use a towel or a brush or a swatch or a brush, a towel or a paper towel, it's something to buff before you buff the other eye because I've noticed if you don't do that, mm -hmm. then you can get um, mm -hmm. like a mm -hmm. muddy effect. <laughs> Thomas disagrees. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to take this flat BH number nine and go into Artemis because, yes. I'm going to see how it works not being sprayed, and then we're probably going to go in and spray it, which as you can see, if you didn't have any spray or didn't, or if you don't like using spray, that actually doesn't look bad at all, but we're going to see if we can intensify her just a little because why not so. yes. look at that can you guys see that on camera like i know i don't have the greatest camera oh i'm getting cheers from thomas is it look pretty <laughs> Okay, and I did just take that and bring it a little higher than my crease because when my eyes are open, I want you to really be able to see that shade. Mm. Now I'm trying to decide on the middle here, and I think I like this Valkyrie shade. Valkyrie, maybe? I don't know. That's what it looks like. Isn't that so pretty? Ready? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about having this. I've been wanting the Natasha Denona gold so long, but I mean, I was worried about how much I would actually use a, a gold and brown palette for that price. Now, her sunrise that's coming out I think it's called or sunset anyway I $65 I'm probably sold on that I'm just I'm not even gonna lie but yeah I really wanted to try this out and this was a perfect opportunity and I don't know however I've, I've watched two reviews on this and they seem to like the palette but I'm really loving this so far. I think it's just stunning and beautiful. I think it's working great. Gonna take that BH number nine and tap into that um, Artemis shade just a little, just to kind of go over the edges here ever so slightly, just so that it doesn't look like a line on my eye so it looks a little more seamless oh i can't imagine the gold palette performing a whole lot better than this if it does it I like miracle shadows because these i'm loving these okay i just went ahead and took my eye coat eyeliner and lines that upper lash line and let me get some brows done and put my face on and I'll be right back okay so I have most of my face put on and I am going to go back into that dark Avalon shade it's that dark chocolatey brown with my e65 
angle mm. brush here. And I'm just going to do right along the uh, uh, yeah. outer lash line, just about a third of the way in, a little more than a quarter. Then I'm going to take, mm, let's see what brush we're going to use. Let's mm -hmm. take this Sigma mm -hmm. uh, eyeshader brush. This is the E55. And I'm going to dip mm -hmm. into a little bit of Iris and a little bit of Athena, the two crease shades that we used. And I'm just going to buff out along that lower lash line. I thought about bringing this green down, but I think I'm going to just leave it on the top for today because I think it would be a bit too much for what I'm going for today. But, yeah, I think this is going to look so much better with just the mustard and the brown on the bottom. Now I'm just going to take this e.l.f. concealer brush and, you know what, actually, I think I'm going to take this BH number 10 real tiny brush here and go into this Freya, this really light shade, and I'm going to spray it because, um, I don't want this falling all over my face, but it's done. And I'm going to put this right in the corner and drag it down that lower lash line just a little bit. And I'm going to do that on both sides. Such a pretty shade. I mean, I'm glad on a limb and say... You could almost use this as highlighter. And mm. yeah. under these mm. the brow bone. Okay, let me pick out a lash and we will look at the final look. Okay, so I finished this look off with some Inky Minky Lashes in Jet Black and my new kiss from Dominique Cosmetics. And... This is the way the final look came out. What do you think? Do you guys have the Greek Goddess palette or the Gold palette? And do you think the look came out similar? Um, yeah, I, I gotta say, I really love this palette. If Alter Ego ever knows I exist and is watching this, I want them to know that this palette made me so happy. I'm happy with the look. I can't wait to create other looks with this palette. And, uh, yeah, see where, uh, I can go with it. But on that note, I hope you have a wonderful night or day wherever you are. And I hope you'll take the time to like and subscribe to my channel so we can discover new and fun makeup together that doesn't cost a fortune every time. Because let's face it, not everyone can afford $129. Um, and if they can, usually like me, you want to buy multiple things, not just one. But anyway... Have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, and uh, we'll see you on the next Teresa Tries Tutorials. Bye guys! Thomas says bye guys!